Hello, Internet, and welcome to Games That Time Forgot. I'm October, and this week we're looking at Operation Darkness, put out in 2008 by Atlas Games, supported by Success. Actually, developed by Success. I don't care. You now have two groups to punch. To be the quick run you through the plot, it's World War II. You're werewolves. They're vampires and zombies and a lot of other things. Look, I'm not going to lie, people of Earth. I can't critique the plot of this. I didn't beat it. I didn't beat it. It... I rage quit a game I'm reviewing. That should tell you pretty much how this is going to be. But wait, there are some surprises. Look, midway through Operation Darkness, aka Twilight, the World War II years, I began to suspect that things weren't really kosher. After all, you have werewolves fighting for the British. Now granted, there's a long tradition of werewolf history in England, but Nazis kind of co-opted that with, with a lot of werewolf imagery. Hell, Adolf means wolf. I mean, the UK produced Bram Stoker. He was Irish, but still part of the United Kingdom. Germany, if you check the links below this video, has a lot of great folk tales dealing with werewolves, including some recent ones about Air Force bases. It's kind of cool. So why does the UK have the werewolves in this? I'm, I'm not asking. For the same reason, I'm not asking why Herbert East, a knockoff of Herbert West Reanimator put out by H.P. Lovecraft, Anglophile though he was, was American. Herbert East is British. You can't really tell from the accents because the voice acting is incredibly bad. Horrifically bad. I couldn't possibly... You know, this is going to be a scattershot review and I am very sorry for that, but this game pissed me off so very much. I mean... Oh, where to begin? Okay, I mentioned the voice acting, so we're gonna start there, right? Okay. This game is very anime. It's very 90s type era anime, where everybody's very young, despite the fact that they look incredibly old. And the incredibly old people sound like they're about to die. Key offender is the protagonist, Edward Kyle, who sounds like someone doing a bad impersonation of David Beckham, but it gets worse from there. Most of the Brits sound American, except for the Irish woman, who sounds Welsh. My hat's off to her, though, because her voice was at least pleasant to listen to. Also winning points was Keith, the Scottish werewolf, one of the Scottish werewolves, who for at least sounding Scottish. The other Scottish werewolf, the one who's in charge of the entire shebang, sounds... British, like an American living in London for ten years. At least it's better than the Germans, who don't sound German. They sound like people who have only experienced a German accent through Jim Caviezel's role in The Thin Red Line. He didn't use a German accent in that. Ugh. Okay, moving on. Graphics. You're probably seeing this and you're thinking to yourself, eh, it's okay for Nintendo 64, which is a problem because this was made for Xbox 360, a system that is more than capable, as we have seen on this very program, of doing a fine job with graphics. Now, Atlas Games is known for doing their dialogue like this, where you see the people pop up and then they have the lines right there. Unfortunately, they decided to keep the voice acting, but that's not the point right now. Focus, October, focus. Now, through all this, you have the dialogue. You have the text pop-up of what the dialogue is. And then you have the Nintendo 64 Castlevania Circle of the Moon type graphics that just... <sighs> we shouldn't be dealing with this. For a 2008 game, this is deplorable. You can't even call it retro. That's like being nostalgic for things you just picked up at the one-hour photo. It doesn't work that way. If this was a 16-bit game, if this was a sprite game, fine. I would understand that. I would have condoned and appreciated. But this isn't. <laughs> Okay, next is the camera work. On top of having the hideous graphics in 2008, this really started to bug me. I mean, it just, if the gameplay was fine, I would have at least continued on. But every now and then, by which I mean constantly, it just decides to turn it around so that way you can't actually see what you're aiming at. I, you know, it, <clears throat> so much rage. Okay, focus. Professional people do professional reviews, October. You got this. You can handle this. Everything's going to be fine. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, here's the most offensive thing about this. And a little trip down nostalgia lane for old October here. Growing up, I was a huge fan of tabletop war games. 
Think of Warhammer 40k, Warhammer Fantasy, various others. In that, you have a field of view you can plainly see. You don't have to worry about crappy camera angles when you're measuring line of sight, when you need to take the scope of the field, and when you're deploying, because you get to choose most times where you're deploying, your troops. Atlas Games, in the past, through the use of war games, things like this, think Tactics Ogre or Brigadane, has done fine. They let you choose where the deployment is unless it's specially noted conditions, such as an ambush of your forces. And you're allowed to do these things and set up your armies properly so that way you can figure out exactly where you need to go. You can put your archers on high ground, you can put your long ranges on high ground, that's fine, that's good, that's how it should be. Because you're supposed to be fighting battles, which are great. Now granted, World War II wasn't a gentlemanly war. It wasn't people lining up in nice little rows and getting slaughtered by machine guns like it had been 20 years previously. But, and this is very important, this is a game. Games are meant to be fun. Now, don't get me wrong, I can appreciate a transition from tabletop game to video game. I'm, I'm sure at some point Dash is going to cover Carcassonne and Ticket to Ride and a couple of others that they've, you know, taken from the board to the Xbox, to the PlayStation, to the, the Steam store. You know, uh, GOG, I think, has a couple of them that are really cool. This could have been great. This could have been a wonderful introduction to the uninitiated into tabletop war games. But unfortunately... For some unknowable reason, two of the apparently worst companies to handle anything larger than your checkout at Radio Shack were given this. Why? Why? You know, I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not even going to waste your time with the blooper reel. Here is actual audio taken during one I thought afterwards, hilarious incident during the gameplay. Gameplay that resulted in me possibly having a slight breakdown and making way too many Neil Diamond references for the amusement of my imaginary girlfriend from Canada who's totally real and spending the summer with me, a joke that I get more enjoyment out of telling than I did out of Operation Darkness. The key element here, and I really cannot stress this enough, is do not play this game. Do not. Play this game. I'm giving it exactly zero. I don't even have a rating system. Don't play it. It's bad. It's incredibly bad. Here's a list of things you could better spend your time on. If you really want to see Scottish werewolves, check out the movie Dog Soldiers. If you really want werewolf just fiction in general, check out the link below. There's a couple of great German folk tales there. Check out the HP Lovecraft literary podcast put out by Chad Pfeiffer and Chris Lackey. They do a great job and they cover Herbert West Reanimator with the director of the movie version, Tobe Hooper. It's really cool. They also go into a couple of werewolf stuff later on in the show, later on in the series, which some of it's actually have to go to their pay site for it's only two dollars and 22 cents a month and you have to pay three months at a time so it comes out to 666 ha, ha, ha. but still it's better than that screw it if you really need your vampire versus werewolf fix go check out pretty much any supernatural show that's come out in the past 10 years do anything anything but play this game See how redundant this is? I complained about redundant combat before, but this lacks even the charm and appeal that Tabletop has of actually interacting with other people. Apparently there's a multiplayer version. If you can actually con people into playing this game with you, you're in the wrong line of work. You should be running Ponzi schemes upon Ponzi schemes. You shouldn't be wasting your life, any small amount of it, on Operation Darkness. Just okay. Okay, I'm 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 done. I'm good. I'm good. Please share and like and subscribe and hit all the buttons related to this video. For games that time forgot, I'm October. I still don't have a sign off phrase. I don't even care anymore. I don't. I'll, I'll be back soon with the end of the trilogy for World War Two. Good night, people of Earth. It's the Black Magic Forces again. Hooray! Yeah, Herbert, you're suddenly very excited that there's zombies involved. Thank you. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, kiss. Uh, okay, and... What the...
boss fight! And I have no health items, I think. This is... crap. Okay, cool. Uh, make your own thriller jokes, people of Earth. This is... just... well. Well, if you didn't think he was evil... Oh, you are delightfully evil. You're the fun kind of evil. Look at you, look at you, you got your hat all gangsta. Oh, the angry animation. Yeah, you hurt his feelings, see? He's not even smiling now, he's kind of shocked. You worried his brooch. Vlado. Vlado, sorry. Well, just see about that, you you tell him weird haircut. Careful, you tell him possible Christina Ricci clone. Blood, blood clan. They couldn't think of a better name than Blood Clan. Cause he's evil. You. <sighs> I'm very concerned. And he's constipated. What are you doing helping the God. Yes. Oh. I guess you could say I My research in the field. Because I'm a field commander. Look at my ascot of power! Yes. Is it a rule that every SS officer has to imitate Hitler's hand motions? I mean, really? Okay, okay, cool, we'll go for it. We'll go for it. Ah, flanked ya. Come on, Cordelia, it's very important you don't suck right now. There's the safe bet. That's good. That's a good range. Yeah. Jimmy! Bully! Well, it's not really British. Yep, go for cover. For some reason, the undead are crack shots. And behold my rifle. Oh, wait. Yes. I have no line of sight on these guys. Hoisted by my own petard. Back to the rifle. Never mind. Just, just sit there, Jimmy. Oh. Good. Anything we can take? Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! Delightful. I don't... Okay. Move into cover. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Anything useful? Okay. And... I am such an idiot for keeping this stupid f revolver. Hack the world! That's for you, mystery. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Woo! Strike! Okay, Frankie boy. Frankie boobla. Frankie blah blah. Think of something Sarge would say. And. Throwing it! Fire in the street! Yes! <laughs> They're stacked up like cordwood! Oh! Golly! 
Atlas, you amaze me. Okay. And line of sight, line of sight. We'll have line of sight. We've got to have line of... Don't... Oh, don't tell me there's the frickin'... Cordelia? Yeah. You have grenades, too. Just the right amount of co no cover at all. I'm a flipping moron. Okay, and yeah, Cordelia. You every time. Boop. That's good for two. Oh, uh, they broke formation. Cynthia, my dear, you're tolerable. Murder them. Murder them for me. Murder him. Yep. Yeah. You serious? Never mind. Just shoot the guy in the head. It's a lamppost. There we go. Alex? Yeah, that did nothing. Okay. Let's get the legally distinct doctor out there. Come on. Yes. Splash damage from a gun. What? No, no. Come on. If I'm missing this because of the lamppost... Really? Vitamins! Uh, this might go poorly. Jimmy, it's very important you don't suck right now. Do not suck, Jimmy. Come on. Splash damage! Why do I not have anything there we get? No. Huh? Ah. Huh? Ah. There we go. Don't suck! Thank you! Oh. Icing on the cake. Take your pills. Okay. No, I don't need the machine pistol. <laughs> I can't stand on dead bodies that are dead again. Uh, this may have been a mistake and I don't care. Come on. Hack the world! Yes! <laughs> Well, it's not as it's not as a nice a design as last time, but I'm not going to complain about results right now. Okay, Frank, come on, because you can soak damage like you wouldn't believe. So I'm going to put you right by Evil Man, and anything, just the pistol. Oh, we know where this is going. Oh yeah, baby. Yes! That's all of them. And reload, and... Wait. Dude. Oh. You were doing so well at being evil. Come back. No. Oh. The blue light from his crotch helped him get away. Nuts. Okay. 